Hello and welcome to a new video on marker series of Explore Bio. Previously, I have uploaded several videos on different marker types such as SSRs, RPD, AFLP, SNP, ISSR and others. And I have explained how they work. If you are interested to know more about them, you may check out the links given in the description below. Today you will learn about a new type of marker called as SCORT or Start Codon Targeting Marker which is becoming very popular these days. I will explain what SCORT marker is, what are their characteristics and superiority over other markers. I will also show you how the amplification profile of SCORT marker looks like and how to interpret them. What are the major applications of SCORT marker, how to get SCORT primers for your experiments, so watch the video till the end. If you have watched my previous videos on markers, you might know that markers are important tools to distinguish individuals, populations and species. DNA markers are superior over others as they are not influenced by environmental conditions and developmental stages. One of the categories of DNA markers are random markers which amplifies one or more genomic regions which are not generally known. These include markers such as RAPD, ISSR and AFLPs. This makes them useful for genotyping the plants whose sequence information is scarce or unavailable. SCORT markers are comparatively new markers developed by Collard and Magill in 2009. Unlike RAPD, AFLP or ISSR, SCORT are designed using short conserved sequences flanking start codon and hence belong to gene targeted marker category. For SCORT primer amplification, single 18 basis long primers which acts both as forward as well as reverse primers are used. Different SCORT primers differ in one or more bases at the 3' end. And all these primers produce different amplification profiles as shown here in the picture. Compared to RAPD markers which suffers major issue of reproducibility, SCORT markers are highly reproducible. There are two major reasons for this. First, these primers are 18 bases long, which is significantly more compared to RAPD primers. Secondly, the annealing temperature of primers is 50 degrees. Additionally, these markers are designed from start codon flanking regions of the genes, hence may be of functional relevance. Scott markers may produce single or multiple amplicons and are usually dominant in nature. To learn more about dominant and codominant markers, do watch my video linked in the description below. After PCI amplification, usually amplicons in the range of 200 to 1500 base pairs are obtained, but it may vary. All the clear amplifiable bands are scored, which is called as dominant scoring. Usually, the presence of a band is denoted by 1 and absence by 0. Based on this, genetic relationships among individuals is established using various analysis software. Some primers may not amplify in some plant species and some primers may not produce clear amplification profile. In such cases, annealing temperature may be increased or decreased by 2 to 3 degrees to get clearer bands. Considering their reproducibility and ability to amplify across species, SCOT markers find their application in genetic diversity analysis, genetic fidelity testing for tissue culture plants, genetic mapping, QTL mapping, bulk segregant analysis and others. We now know that SCORT markers are robust and have wide applications, so next time you can definitely plan to use SCORT markers for your research if required. These are the list of SCORT primers published in several studies. I have also attached the link of the research publications from where you can get the primer information. If you need any assistance regarding this, you can write to me at explorebio at the I will be happy to help you. To learn more about other useful markers like SSR, SNP, RAPD, RFLP, AFLP, ISSR, you can watch out my playlist on markers. If you are interested in publishing, you must also check out my series of videos on how to write a research article, how to write a review, how to publish, check plagiarism, manage references automatically and lot more. Do comment or email me about your queries and suggestions. I will be happy to hear from you. That's all for today. Thanks and see you in my next video.